Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And we're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, it's that time of the week. Yay! Um, so we're going to do um, hashtag Retro Roxy Wednesday. And this is off of a 2021 um, hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So I'm super excited about it. And I think it's her number two week number 12. I'll put all that in the description. Um, so this one is called, I made myself a note. Let's see here. This one is called cute paper bags with antique stamped page flip. Um, it has a lot of steps to it, but all of it's super easy and hopefully we can get some done. So basically I don't have the same things that she had that Rachel had. So I just grabbed some of the things that I had. And so basically she's taking, uh, like little bags and making, making, uh, some flips out of them. So, um, I, I thought I would try to just see if I could do one. Um, I haven't done it completely through, but since this is coffee dyed, let me just kind of open this bag up a little bit. So the first part of it, and I think I've only got, I've got five here. I can't remember how many she made is you, you need to turn this flap down. Now, um, with that being said, it needs to be able to have a little bit of room here. So we're going to, we're going to cut that and I'm going to see if I can do it this way make it quick a quick cut here when i'm gluing or something i'll uh get you caught up on what's going on but there's so many steps to this one that i just really wanted to get going uh right on into it because um i'm a little bit nervous that i won't even get it done um okay so let's go a little bit deeper than that um, just on the sides here, I think we'll, we'll come down on the side here a little deeper, kind of like this. Let's see if that works. Basically, I'm trying to cut it to where you can get things in there, you know, nicely. And then we just want this to, to fold over that part a little bit. Can't tell quite if that's straight. Um, I'll make a little pile here of trash and do that at once. <clears throat> yeah, so while I cut these, I just want to see what everybody's up to. I hope everyone's had a good day and a good start of the week. And uh, if you haven't had a good start of the week, don't worry, it's not over yet. Everything can turn around. It's interesting how that happens. Sometimes it's within an hour, you know, things totally turn around. Okay, I think I'm going to need to go a little deeper on that one. Some Sometimes little sacks or if you use like a coin envelope, which we're going to try to use here in a little bit, um, sometimes there may be a, a big enough gap. Okay, so then I just want to... I think I'm doing this right. I might have to refer back to my notes here in a little bit, but I just want to fold that over and give enough enough room to put something in there. Now, this was just a little coin envelope that I found. Um, I was thinking it might. You could notch it, and I was going to do that, but my I have my circle punch here to notch, and I could do that, but I tried it on here, and it just chewed it up. So I thought, well, let's just do it in a mass make type of way and um just cut them all see what happens anyways and then with this one this one's going to be too long so we'll fold it maybe right there where that little see if that's going to work i think that'll work I think that'll work okay. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, it was so pretty today. It was in, it was breezy and almost 80. It was so pretty. All right. Let's see if we can get that. And this one doesn't have as much to to be able to fold over. So I'm just hoping that this is all going to work. It's just paper if it doesn't and we'll We'll figure out a different way. So here you can see where I tried to do that, uh, but it really just chewed it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to <clears throat> try <laughs> what's going on. Okay. See if that's even. <laughs> that's not too bad. Now, will this fold over? Okay. Boy, oh boy, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to be fun anyways. Can't go wrong with paper and glue. Okay, now I gotta look at my my thing here. Uh, oh, okay. So now what we need to do is take a page and we're gonna trim it to fit under here. So this is a small page. So I'm just gonna trim it right on probably right about here and just a little bit off this one I could have um, maybe made that a little bit more centered but it'll be fine all right and then trim this off Okay, we'll just put that there so it's going to be like this. Like that. Okay. Do this one. So Joey's been, uh, took the day off today to pour concrete since it was going to be so nice. He had actually taken off another day but it was rainy you know so he took today off and we're really thankful a buddy of his a uh, friend of ours a buddy of his came over and um helped him it was a true blessing so hard to get those things done by yourself and even with the two of them they were just you know really going at it so just really grateful for the help. Um, that's a fun piece. That's a fun piece. These are all fun pieces. These these other ones are too little, but these will be good to make um, stamp things on. All right. So we'll do that. Okay. I'll trim it. I think maybe if I trim it just at the margin, it, we might be good. So yeah, so they the concrete guy came and um, backed up into one of our drives, and which is gravel, a gravel drive, and then <clears throat> the guys took wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow of concrete back to where the slab is that Joey is getting ready to put. Um, so I think that's okay. There's a border, but I think it'll still be all right. I think. Uh, but anyways, to where he um, is putting an outbuilding sh um, shed. And so, okay, and that's that one.
and um, that's going to be nice because then once that is done, okay, let me see here what's going on here. Yeah, I think the border. Once that is finished, then we'll move everything from, we just have a one car garage and really it's just storing things right now. But once that's done, all that stuff will go into the shed, the new shed. Then Joey will begin demolition on the um, the garage to begin building our other one. Okay, so that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's okay. Uh, I mean, a lot smaller than I thought. I thought this was going to be big enough for me to do this little coin one, but that's okay. We'll just use um, dictionary for that. No, um, because I have I have this paper here. I have this paper here. This is an old zip code book. It's fun. Let me tear this down a little bit. Maybe tear this side. It'll be easier. I say that. <laughs> we'll see. Rachel was talking about how that's going to be fun to stamp on. About how uh, not to worry about the thinness of the paper because um, you know you're just using it as a flip. And it, uh, put it here. You know, it's it's kind of strengthened by this back, this little sack or coin or whatever. Okay. Okay, so anyways, I did that, and then they had some extra, and you know, I told you we have this very old house, and um, so the little stairway by the back door has some um, potting, you know, the cement has potted, and it's where it's chipped away and all that, and so... Uh, they put some cement there, and Joey's friend, you know, kind of troweled it out, and everything it looks nice. And then I, I took a little tool and put, you know, our name on it and stuff. Okay, I think that's gonna be okay. I wanna squish this down a little bit better. Okay, now. Now what? Um, I'm looking at my notes. Three pages. I put three pages of notes. Uh, glue the flap. Okay. I don't know if we'll need that again. All right. So we'll just put some glue here. We'll just put this right up to the fold. Okay, cute. Let's see if we'll flat get that glued down a little bit. Okay, these sacks here, I have no idea where I got them. Um, I went, went and looked at my stash and found them and um, half of them were all chewed up at the top so I barely had a, a top to use. Uh, I just found a couple that still looked okay. Get that straight. Okay. Two. Put those over here. OK. 
kind of thinking I'm gonna do this just a, a slight different. I think what I'm gonna do is just set it like this. I think I can see that a little bit better. Okay. It's a little off center, but I, it's still fine, I think. What else? Um, definitely getting the hankering to plant. I've been telling you that. <clears throat> and it just seems like something keeps coming up you know, and it hasn't, nothing has progressed, haven't, I guess I will do it this way, because I can't seem to get it straight, or um, get it in the middle for some reason, um, <clears throat> yeah, something seems to just keep coming up, or um, it rains, or uh, I've done something that I've exhausted myself, <laughs> you know, and I don't feel like going out and planting flowers, Need a nice cool Saturday where that's all there is to do. So, you know, Mother's Day's coming up. It'll be my first Mother's Day without my mom. I don't know what to expect about that, but um, I'm grateful we get to spend time with Joey's mom. We're gonna um, meet them and and flea market. Yeah, my cousin has a. A flea market about oh a couple of hours it, she's really kind of in the middle you know both of us will it takes takes us just a little less than two hours to get there it'll take joey's mom and dad about two hours to get there and then we'll just flea market and they're having a bazaar or something there like a whole town deal and uh, so we'll do that and then have lunch and Joey's birthday's at the end of May, so by that time it'll be mid-May, and I think we're going to go ahead and celebrate our his birthday with them while they're while we're you know all together. Okay, we got that. Now what? Um. Oh, okay. So now I don't know that we're gonna. Well, oh yeah, we do need this in a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to stamp on the front of each of these. I think I'm going to get my, my um, mouse pad out to stamp on. I don't have one of those fancy ones, but my friend Robin recommended this and I've been using it ever since. Okay, now, in Rachel's, she has all kinds of stamps with big flowers and all things like that. And I have stamps, but <laughs> I have everything from, I have, it's a mess in here. I have things that I'm unpacking from the, from the craft, um, thing that we did or the craft retreat that I just got back from. So I'm just using those that are right here in my drawer and, um, hopefully these will do the trick. So I haven't used these in forever. Uh, this is, I wonder if this will go on like one of these. Let's go down here. So then she just stamped them all. And what color? I think I'll use black. I think. That barely fits on there. I want it to be really, really, really inked. <clears throat> so you can see it has a, you know, it has a lot of components to it, but all of them very easy, very simple. Okay. I didn't just smear that. <laughs> okay. Could use a little bit more ink, but I think it's fine. When, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do an, an, one of the others. And then I have, 
a different flower out of the same thing. And I'm not really sure. Oh, it looks like it's a Bow Bunny stamp. Um, we used to have a Tuesday morning here, Tuesday morning store. But we don't have one anymore, and I think that's where I got it. <laughs> this thing's too big. This acrylic's too big, so it's a little bit clunky for me. better okay that one will take off <clears throat> and let's check out the other one stability piece maybe that'll be better what else is going on um did go to Aldi today but they didn't have all they didn't have their fun aisle done so I might zip up there tomorrow if I don't if I get out I love looking at their fun aisle I've gotten some Christmas things already from there I think I told you that they had plant uh, flowers so that turned out okay let's see how many did I do already one two three I feel like I'm missing one somewhere. Oh, here, this little guy. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to do something different with those two as far as stamping. Okay. Because I don't have my other stamps, you know, right here ready to get to there. I keep them. I have this closet that is just shelves and it doesn't have the closet doors on it. And so they're on one of the shelves, but I have three little things in front of it. So I'd have to take those down. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't even have room because I have all this stuff from the, um, the craft thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I got to move some stuff real quick and get a wet wipe. My hands are smeary with black. You know how I am. I just cut off a little or tear off a little piece, and then that's it. That's all I need. Get the ink off. What was I was working on not too long ago, and I needed like two full ones. It was like what a mess. It might have been when I was doing the um, <clears throat> uh, jelly print, which I can't wait to to get into that again. So many things I want to do. Where does the time go? I don't know. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do with these last two is I do have my Tim Holtz. I don't really know how you tell what it is. Uh, I don't know if there's a name to it or what but basically it's butterflies and then it has a stencil with flowers in like a, a, a lattice so my thought was nope uh, my thought was to use that but I don't think I am I think I'm just going to use uh, butterflies so let's dress this up with the butterflies is there a baby one nope Okay, I know that's kind of a, it's kind of weird to have just four there, but let's see. If we can get 
butterflies in there. It's just tons of butterflies. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. And I thought I would use brown on this one. So. Okay. We'll see what happens. Our irises are coming up. Oh my gosh. We have white, light purple, yellow, this beautiful dark purple. And then we have a variegated purple where it's lighter on the outside and really dark on the inside. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Okay. Aww. Aww. Pout. Pouty. Let's see if I can get a better with the black. See what happens if I try to go over this. All right, let's see if we can line it up somewhat. Hmm. I'm sure I'm rocking the camera just doing this. Well, golly, that's kind of a stink, isn't it? Is it that this paper is slick? It is slick. Let's see if it works on this because it's the only one I, I really have left. So we just need those top three. it's all right not spectacular well you all know i'm challenged with uh stamping you know that so what i'm gonna do is quickly go around these butterflies here because I want to use I want to use them if I can see I don't want it to completely be a you know a flop on this paper I have no idea what all that was in there. I'm holding my breath while we're doing it. That's not right. Oh, it goes way up here. <laughs> Brother. I'm very challenged with with the um stamps. Well, and with eyesight too, <laughs> as you can see. Okay. Hmm. Now, what does this one look like? Kind of has. Oh boy, I'm never going to be able to get all this. Well, I'm just doing this to, 
be done with it. Um, I probably won't even use it. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, all right. Let's pretend that one that didn't happen. Yeah. We'll pretend that one didn't happen. And I really need, need to practice with these because they're super fun. I mean, it, it's so fun to do. Okay. All right, Tim Holtz, you're back in. All right, so that section, that's done. All right. On to the next step. <laughs> Maybe we can save that later with some... Um, uh -oh. Save it later with... Uh, come on now. Can't even think. Watercolors or something. What is happening? There we go. Okay. Done. Get that out of here. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. <sighs> You'll have to go watch Rachel's for sure. At least for that part. Okay. We did that. Um, okay. Now what she did, which I don't think you have to do this in this particular order, but now what she did was she stamped on some coffee dyed paper with scripting and with, um, now normally I just use my fingers to stamp this <clears throat> with scripting and just anything that was like, I don't know, script like she had a stamp that had kind of like a letter. It looked like a letterhead or something. Let's see what happens with this. Not bad. It's a little smeary. A little smeary. I'm just going to do a couple of these. I don't think we'll need very many. Very much of it. What is that guy? <laughs> Let's see if that made a difference. Much better. Huh. All right. Okay. Now I, what did I do with the little plastic thing? Oh, brother. Okay. <clears throat> now this one, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use my fingers to do it. And since none of the brown worked out, I'm going to do this in black just like, well, there it is. No, that's this one. I'm going to do this one in black just like we did um, the other things on here. That one, that little one, this one, I may have to do something to kind of try to fix it too. We'll see. I shouldn't have done that. I should have used this. It turned out better. Okay. Do one more time. I didn't do some of this down in here because it was, uh, it looked like a invoice and I'm more just trying to get scripty stuff to try to try to copy Rachel. Eh, it's all right. The thing, 
about it is, is I, for myself, I have to try really hard. I do have to try to let go of perfection because it's a fun stealer. It robs me of fun, um, you know, trying to be too perfect with it. And it's a craft, you know, I'm crafting, I'm, I'm expressing and having fun. So I need to, you know, release that part of me that wants everything to be so perfect. Because I will I can play with it and make it a little bit more appealing to me, but it doesn't have to be just perfect. What's the next step? Uh, stamp on front of book page. We did that. Stamp coffee dye. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're supposed to cut this into strips. I don't think that it's necessary to do this at this point, like right this second, but so that I can stick with my instructions that I jotted down from Rachel's video, I would like to go ahead and follow along with that. <clears throat> so... Let's see, do I need this? I might need it, I can't remember. Again, remember I said um, it's not difficult, it's just a lot of steps. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, cut that little bit off. And I'm just gonna cut she said half inch strips, half inch size, so I think mine are a little, kind of look a little bit more like three quarter. That's just trash. <laughs> like three quarter inch, maybe. I'll save that. use that one let's see this is one of my coffee dyes that got crunchy in the drying process this one's a little bit bigger than three quarter but I think it'll still be fine I'm gonna take that little edge off of there She, we may have to cut them down. She was showing how you don't want them too awfully long. And I'll show you why in this, when we use them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think we've got it. Let's use one of these, though. <laughs> it's pretty. anyone else gets so much ink on them when they stamp or not but I sure do okay I think that's good we'll save this and this will be good for later okay toss a little bit of trash all right now what um Okay, so now um, we're going to do hole reinforcements on here because we're going to punch a hole. And um, I want to glue those on first. So what I've done is I've taken, I don't have a hole reinforcer punch. You know, they actually make them like that. So what I've done is I've taken... Just my little guy here and I punched a hole like that or punched a little circle like that and I just put him in this little thing here I, I did it out of some of Rachel's papers um, I do have a tiny one which also looks nice but it's it wasn't cutting clear clean so 
I decided I would use the bigger one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm just going to glue one of these on where I'm going to punch my hole. Now, I'm hoping this goes well. I'm going to punch the hole. It's kind of, I'm going to put this kind of high up because when I punch that hole, I don't want to hopefully punch through this part of the envelope. If we do, we'll just cut it, but um, I'm trying to avoid that is my main thing here. There's the blue one, it's kind of bright. I'm putting that at the tip top. Oops. <laughs> that glass seam moved on me. Okay. Now this one I must have cut a lot deeper because look at the flap on that. That's that's nice. Unless I <laughs> went all the way. I think it still is going to work good. Okay. Just kind of try to get it somewhat in the middle. So I did do a little bit, as you can tell, I did do a little bit of prep work ahead of time because I, um, I knew it was going to take a little bit for me to do this. The stamping is always a challenge for me. Okay, I'm going to use the blue one on this one since it's not my favorite. <laughs> Watch it turn out to be my very favorite. Keep it forever and ever. Okay. All right. All right, so there's that. Then the next thing she did was glue paper on the inside. It's the craft that keeps on giving. So what did I pull to put on the inside? I pulled these, but I don't think I'm going to have enough. Um, I'm just going to use my tear ruler. I'm going to tear it down a little bit and then try to get two out of it. I think I'm just going to try to get two out of it. Okay. I feel like I blew on that side, so I better do this side. remember if I told you that we started watching white collar again um, we watched it I guess a couple years ago and I gotta tell you what uh, I don't remember hardly any of it you know I watch a movie and 10 15 years later I'll be like I've seen this before you know but this show is continues to be a surprise to me okay I'm going to see if I can get enough out of this to um, put on that little one okay all right so now we have paper for the inside let's get that glued down how are we doing on time oh my goodness Oh my goodness. <clears throat> We're almost there, I feel like. 
we're already on the third page of my instructions. So I know we're almost at the end because I only have three pages in my little notebook. I can't even imagine how long this would go if I had not prepped some of it and how and if you know with Rachel's things I try not to well I don't try not to I don't uh, use my vintage photo you know and uh, can you imagine if I was distressing everything okay How she does it all, I don't know, because she does it in 45 minutes. You know, she sets her timer, and not only that, but, yeah, she knows what she's doing, but she's picking out the papers. She's not, she's not doing it like I am, where I had papers sitting here on my desk. She's picking them out. She's trying to decide what should I use, and, um, you know, and here I am. Everything's already picked out. It's amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah. She's a pro. If you haven't ever watched her, uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations, she also does... She doesn't just do a weekly... Um, Roxy's weekly challenge, but she also does a, a sewing challenge type of thing where she works on, it's mainly a slow stitch, I think, challenge, and I have never done it because I can barely keep up with paper with her. I mean, she's an absolute master at um, sewing. Go to her Go to her YouTube, go to her um, Etsy and see her things. And then her sister, Sarah, is also involved in the um, sewing challenges. So you can go to, oh, I can't remember the name of the sewing challenge. Um, oh, darn it. I can't remember. If you go on to Rachel's, you may see some of Sarah's. I'm not sure. I mean, then their mom sews. And I mean, they just have, they're just such a, a brilliant family with that. All right. What's next? Um, oh, add fussy cuts to the inside. Now, I did prepare some fussy cuts um, from some of Rachel's paper and a garden book that I have. Is this the cutest little buttercup? Look at that. I got that at a flea market for a dollar fifty. Why anyone would ever get rid of that? I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to put one of these in here. Now, Rachel used, tried to use things, you know, flowers that were tall. So I worked at that, but, um, mine are not as, as tall as hers. And I think it does look nice as they crawl up like that, but mine, mine are not as tall as that, as hers are. Here's some tall ones. We'll see what happens with it. This is out of my little garden book that I showed you at one time. I like this one. Let's see. We've got kind of a big one here. Might go good. We're almost there. Oh, boy. Which side do I want? I think the other side is the one that I intended. Okay. I hope you'll hang with me for this last part. Okay, this 
this one. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that one with a flower on the inside because I just can't stand it right now to do that. <laughs> I can't stand to waste one if I'm not gonna keep it. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might just try to take that. Oh, did I not put it? What happened? Oh, I, I cut it, but I didn't put it in. Um, I might just redo that book page that's there and stamp on it again. And what I might do for safe measures is stamp on the book page and then put it in. Make sure I, I get a good... Oh. losing my mind oh my goodness anyways see if I can get a good stamp on it okay getting ooey and gooey again all right so, okay 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 so we got that now I don't think we're going to need this anymore. Now we need to punch out, punch out this in the center of this hole. Now you can use a hole punch like this, which will work fine. Let's see how it did. Yeah. So see, um, it punched through that. That's okay. You can cut it down again if you want. I don't think I am tonight. So you can use that or, um, like Rachel did, she used her, uh, we are memory keepers, uh, the little chomper deal. And this way you can see, you know, you can see through that dot where you're punching. It doesn't really matter for me because I'm just going to try to get in that, in the center there. Um, I actually kind of like using this better because I feel like the ratio of the center being punched out to the little circle that I used is a little bit better now let's see yeah I punched a little bit there too so we're not worried about that that one's fine <clears throat> chewed it up a little bit. I think it's going to be okay. All right. Okay. Next. Oh, I forgot. We need to punch a hole in these. I'm just going to try to do them all at once. In the center. Two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and do five, even though I'm not going to do that one yet. Let's see if it'll let me do five. Easy sneezy. <clears throat> okay, now I think this is step last. What's it say? Yes, this is the last step, is to just take some baker's twine, or if you have some string, and, oh, nope, we've got to put a label on, put a label, <laughs> let's put a label, how are we doing on time, oh boy, label, This one's tricky because uh, I don't really have any labels that go with that. Those colors, unless I can find a pretty pink one or a pretty green one. It's too big.
if only I had my the junk journal studio green ones uh, cut out but I don't that might work yeah okay and I don't have <clears throat> this isn't a sticker so we'll just do this I don't think it's a sticker All right, cool. What's this one? Okay, how about how about a little red one here? Oh, that one feels like a sticker. It looks like I overhauled a car with my. black fingernails and fingers okay what's this one that's pretty these are tracy fox uh i'll kind of want to say these are shabby dabby doodah but i i am using some of tracy fox <clears throat> all right this little guy. I'd like to maybe put a little brown one there. Okay. All right. Glue be gone this up here out of the way okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach these so i think this one's going to be a little long we'll just cut it like that and um i think i'm gonna just use brown And I'm cutting it a little long. Rachel cut them pretty short um, because she didn't want to fiddle with. She uh, is better at that, but I would fiddle with it, I think. So now what you do is you just tie it in just a little knot long enough for it to open, but short enough to wear the little tag that you just hung on here does not fall down too far see how it stays there and then after that you can trim that off and then you can still open this and you can still tuck something in here so you don't have anything to tuck in so that's the plan Yeah, so again, very, very simple, super cute, super fun, especially if you, you know, can stamp. Um, she did mention collaging. I think you could even just put, you know, your paper and then put your... Um, if you didn't want to put a stamp on it, which I love the stamp, you could you could put, you know, another flower or something. So there's that one. I think I want this one and this one. Which one did I say? This one. It's a good way to use scraps too. So like even if you used instead of just doing specific scripts, you could stamp off, use your stamp off sheet 
and then cut them into strips. You know, we've made things with that before, dangles and stuff. So you could do that. Anything you want, you can do that. You can do anything you want. I think I'm going to leave that one long. That was green. Okay. Oh my goodness, can you believe we've got an hour? Boy, oh boy. We're almost done. And if you stayed with me this long, I really appreciate it. Nope, oh, that's not right. I'm doing Um... Yeah, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you watching, listening, um, subscribing. You know, you guys, we're almost to a thousand subscribers, and that means each one of you has helped with that. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll plan a little something special with that. If and when that ever happens. Hmm. If it does, fine. If it doesn't, fine. We're just having fun, aren't we? Okay, let's get this out of the way. You know how I like to clean up after I get done? Well, that's not happening tonight. It is late. Look at how fun. So fun. Thanks again, Rachel, for such a fun one. I really think all, a lot of these components you could do maybe while watching TV or something. You know, like these and stamping and all of that. And then it's a quick assembly. I love it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging with me. And don't forget, we pray blessings over you. And we want you to know that you're so loved. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.